नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लिविंग इकोनॉमिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस ग्राफ ऑफ अ नेचुरल मोनोपोली एंड हाउ रेगुलेटरी बॉडीज ट्राई टू रेगुलेट नेचुरल मोनोपोली बाय सेटिंग प्राइसेस एट डिफरेंट लेवल नाउ इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू कैन सी दिस अ ग्राफ विच डिपिक्ट द ग्राफ ऑफ अ फर्म विच हैज टिपिकली फोर कर्व्स ओवर हियर वन इज द एवरेज रेवन्यू कर्व second is the marginal revenue curve which is a light blue curve you can see that there is a black uh, downward sloping curve which is long run average cost curve and st it's still sloping downward along with that you see there's a red long run marginal cost curve this form is clearly seen to be achieved economies of scale because this form has a tendency to supply the entire market demand and still average cost is going down it has it has achieved economies of scale because because of the reasons like fixed investment is must be very huge or it has experienced economies of scale due to its existence in long run so basically anyone who is new who doesn't know how to read graph first thing first you have to see what is there on the y axis and what is there on the x axis so here you can see that on y axis we have measured dollars per trip that means we are talking about currency and on x axis we are measuring trips per month so this is basically about a firm which is running a railways metro and we are going to see how this firm would be setting its price and output under no regulations and under regulations you can see the long run average cost curve as a black curve is sloping downwards along with the long run marginal cost curve which is which is which is lower than the long run average cost curve at all given level of output and this particular feature of this firm depicts that this firm is a natural monopoly because it has achieved economies of scale still the long run average cost curve is sloping down uh, and will further go down because it will only start increasing when marginal cost intersects average cost from its minimum point which still not have have happened and you can technically see that this particular firm is having the capability of supplying the entire demand when we say that we mean that the price of a particular firm is equal to the marginal cost at 105 trips per month and still your average cost is falling down that means this firm has the capacity to reduce average cost further down from 1.25 to anything lower than that and it's it's it is capable to you know dim supply the entire market demand we don't need any other firm because if we need any other firm over here then the average cost of two firms would be much higher than the single firm or a monopoly we have and that's why it is called as natural monopoly that we have understood now we will see what uh, any regulatory body would do if this firm is a private body and the goal of the firm is to maximize profit so we you cl clearly know that when a firm is not regulated and any profit maximizing firm would set its output where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost now here you can see that this happens at 50 trips per month where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost at this given level of output and based on the average revenue curve you find that the firm would set its price at dollar 4 per trip right now with this you can see that this firm which is a firm running metro in a city is able to generate abnormal profit super normal profit or positive economic profit with the difference of average revenue curve and average cost curve so this difference is depicting depicting average profit of a firm basically you see the total of the total profit of the firm is average profit multiplied by the total number of trips and this entire shaded area is super normal profit positive economic profit of a firm 
Now, when this happens, there is a major dead weight loss you can see, and the dead weight loss loss is equal to the area, the difference between the quantity which will be, you know, produced and sold under monopoly 50 compared to the quantity which should be produced uh, with full allocative efficiency where price is equal to marginal cost which happens at 105 trips right so this is a huge deadweight loss if this firm tries to exploit market power clearly this firm has market power because it has economies of scale and um, economies of scale is one of the sources of barriers to entry so clearly this firm, firm it's a private organization can exploit its market power and can set prices much much higher than the marginal cost right so now what a regulatory body could do is it could ask the firm to set its price equals to marginal cost but if you see over here clearly you can see that if firm uh, tries to set its price equals to marginal cost and sell uh, you know 105 trips per month uh, which is in millions this firm is having an average loss which is being depicted with the difference between the long and average cost curve and the and the average revenue curve now this loss multiplied by the total number of trips uh, per month will be the total loss of the firm so you can see this light orange or red shaded area is depicting the total loss of the firm and no firm in this world if they are running for short uh, they are running for profit would uh, you know incur losses in the long run basically in long run all firms should technically uh, you know earn normal profit if not super normal profit so this is not feasible for a government or a state i mean a regulatory authorities to ask them to set their price equals to marginal cost which is 50 cents over here then what can be the next strategy there can be two strategies one that the entire amount of loss which you can see over here in this graph is you know subsidized in the sense the entire loss can be converted into subsidy and government can give subsidy to this firm equal to the amount of loss they are incurring over here right so the this entire area can turn into subsidy and then government can ask these this firm to set its price equal to marginal cost whatever loss they are bearing will be converted into subsidy which will be given to the firms so that uh, they don't incur any losses and there is a fair return right so fair return would be when this the entire subsidy the entire loss is converted into subsidy government subsidizes this and it gives the loss uh, covers the loss or fixes the loss by giving subsidies to the firms second thing what they can do is to set price equal to average cost now if they set price equals to average cost then in theory you can see that yes these are fair returns because price is nothing but average revenue and average revenue equals to average cost means the firm in long run is incurring natural uh, normal profit which is the best thing they can do if they can't set price equals to marginal cost but uh, practically it is not feasible for the firm for the regulatory bodies to get the exact or correct average cost one thing second thing may happen is that these firms can distort can give the wrong picture of their average cost curve so let's say uh, if this firm says that the average cost of this firm is not the black curve which is shown over here rather they fake their average cost as the red curve now will allow them to set price at four dollar four and the job is done third problem which can happen with this price equals to average cost is that firms or any natural monopoly in this market when they have to set price equals to average cost loses um, the motivation to reduce average cost to increase their profit margin because anyways whatever will be their average cost whether it is this or this or anything else they will be you know getting fair returns means they will be getting normal returns or normal profits dynamic efficiency which comes with the competition which comes with you know bet getting better and better in technology which reduces the average cost or increases the productive efficiency will be lost in this um, you know battle of setting price equals to marginal cost and if not then price equals to average cost uh, so for now this is it 
Thanks a lot. See you again.